Well, some bitch pile of monkey nuts, somebody trimmed their beard. About freaking time, eh, people? Yeah, freaking trimmed her up. Big time. Wednesday afternoon, I got up a little while ago and I need to uh, let Scruffy out for shit. And then we're going to head over to Jewel's house. She's off sick today. She has a, a medical condition with her digestive system and every once in a while it acts up. And uh, when it does, it practically cripples her for uh, a bit. So she asked me to go over for a cigarette and stuff. And I said, sure. I just got to deal with Scruffy Fluffy Puppy Wuppy. And um, then I'll head on over. So we're going to go let the dog out. Who let the dogs out? Ruff, 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 ruff. But uh, we're going to let the dog out and then uh, we're going to head over to Jules' house and then uh, we're going to have to head off to work. Some bitch pile of monkey nuts heading off to work. <laughs> and welcome to my vlog. So I posted a picture to the uh, Facebook fan page for anybody interested in uh, the differences between the iPhone 5S, Samsung Galaxy S4, and the HTC One, just so people can get an idea as to what is what. Yeah, basically what's, what kind of bugs me is Apple never said what people wanted to know. How fast is the A7 processor and how many cores does it have? Instead, they brag about, you know, it's a 64-bit processor so it can run apps faster. That's not true. 64-bit means that you can run more than 3 gigs of RAM on a device because theoretically, 32-bit, you can only run uh, 32,768,300, I can't remember the complete number, but basically 32, uh, 3.25 gigs of RAM. That's all address so so three million two hundred sorry I said thirty two million didn't I? I meant three million two hundred sixty seven thousand some other friggin number so that's all you can run for RAM is 3.25 gigs anything else will not be addressed so what does this mean for Apple well with a 64-bit processor they can now run 64 gigs of RAM theoretically in a phone will that ever happen probably not anytime soon but Apple just opened the door so now they can actually put four gigs eight gigs 16 gigs whatever they want for RAM in the phone would more RAM help friggin rights would help you know then you can have more apps running in the background and, and less lag when jumping between apps and you can actually have more apps running simultaneously which I don't know if Apple does that now iOS 7 might but uh, as far as I know it doesn't so that's one of the benefits to 64-bit processing does it make it faster yeah because you can have more RAM but what really makes processor faster is more cycles more Hertz and they never mention how fast the processor is so for all we know it's just another 1.2 gigahertz a6 chip with a 64-bit instruction set and this new motion coprocessor yeah a dedicated processor just to process the phone's motions like if the phone phone's jumping around or shaking or or, or freaking being thrown or stuff and the processor can do that on the fly without you know using the cpu kind of pointless if you ask anyway people i'm gonna head off to jules house and then uh head off to work so let's get the frig out of here i need cigarettes oh freak sakes so let's head over to Jules house and see what the what is and go from there oh she's a hot day out today people holy shit so so far my new technique for keeping the camera still in the car I noticed yesterday on the vlog drive to work the camera was a lot more steadier and all I'm literally doing is just putting the camera closer to the dash pad and then smashing a friggin cigarette pack underneath it to make it stay still and that seems to work you know the camera doesn't bounce around as much probably because it has no to go so that's uh, definitely a bonus but uh, yeah back on that Apple talk there even with even the fingerprint reader that they put on it okay you know what that's kind of cool and all but they're not the first ones to do that Motorola did it with the with the uh, was it the Atrix or the Motorola Ativ I can't remember which Motorola phone it was but they had a fingerprint reader on theirs and they ended up scratching the technology because nobody was using it to unlock their phone they figured out ah, well it's a waste of time a lot of people were complaining that they kept hitting it by accident and setting off different features of the phone so yeah yeah it's it's kind of neat but not really at the same time right so kind of kind of pointless and then like I said that motion control thing that they put in the motion coprocessor I honestly don't understand why they need that but whatever if it makes the phone run a little faster it makes the phone run a little faster but bragging about 64 bit when currently all of the apps are done in 32 bit well it's like when Windows, Windows 7 and 8, you know? If you're running a 64-bit version of Windows 7 and 8, and 
and you start running 32-bit programs on it, it'll start running it in a emulated 32-bit zone. And the problem with emulated 32-bit zone is, is it won't give you, like let's say, like a, for instance, my uh, XPS 9000 or 8300, both of them have 16 gigs of RAM. Due to the 64-bit architect, I can actually address all 16 gigs of RAM. I can use it and stuff unless I'm playing a 32-bit game, which a lot of video games out there right now are still in 32-bit mode. And you can tell that if an application's in 32-bit, well, my body's wrong, but you can tell if an application's in 32 or 64-bit because if you, all you do is go into your task manager and you can uh, totally uh, freaking see there because it'll have a star beside it. Every 32-bit application will have a star beside it, letting you know that it's running in x86 mode. And with 32-bit emulation, what happens is Windows will only allocate 2 gigs of RAM to that 32-bit application at any given time. That's all it can do. Even though theoretically 32-bit you can run 3 and a quarter uh, gigs of RAM, it'll only assign 2 gigs of RAM to it and then call her quits. Now, I'm not saying that a uh, 30, no, 2 gigs of RAM is not enough. 90% of the time it is, but it's kind of a piss off when uh, still a lot of the video games being developed today are running are still being developed in 32-bit mode they're not even taking advantage of 64-bit and the reason why they're doing that is because they're tailoring them to older computers like older dual core computers that are still in 32-bit mode so that's fine that's that's not a problem i guess you know whatevs but i think what uh you know apple boasting 64-bit hoping well they're right i'm sorry but they're right they were hoping their audience was really really dumb and was to think oh well 64-bit frig yeah that means it's going to be faster than my 32-bit iphone 5 i better run out tomorrow and buy this then they're going to run out tomorrow and buy the iphone 5s and place their iphone 5 and realized they didn't really get much of anything out of it except for a thinner wallet. So, just wanted to check to see if I had my wallet. And that's the problem is, you know, they're so good at marketing. That's one thing with Apple, they're so good at marketing. They got these guys who get up there and they can talk shit about the product and make it sound like, you know, it's the most ingenious thing ever. In the end, they're still not the biggest, like, it's still not the fastest phone on the market. Is it the most advanced? Well, I guess you can say the CPU is sort of, because it does have technology that no Android or uh, Microsoft CPU, like no ARM, which is that 64-bit instruction code set and the um, the motion processor. But honestly, I don't see a use for that yet. Like, yeah, it definitely opens up doors for future devices. You know, 64-bit means they can actually build a tablet and just stack it with RAM and make it awesomer than Frig. Now, I know people are like, well, that doesn't make sense. I have a 32-bit iPhone and I got the 16-gig model. That's storage capacity. Storage is not affected by the bits. Storage is like a hard drive on a computer, for instance. But the iPhone 5S, I don't know how much RAM they said it's going to have. I got the bits on the picture anyway. I know my phone has uh, 3 gigs of RAM on my uh, S4. The HTC One's the same. Maybe the iPhone 5S is the same. I don't know. One thing I got to say about Apple over Android is sometimes the apps can be a lot smaller on an iPhone versus an Android. And an iPhone can use your network data a lot more sparingly. Like, it, it, I find my phone, if I'm not on uh, Wi-Fi, my phone's constantly pulling from the internet. But I have 6 gigs of data in a month, and I probably only use about maybe 500 megs a month, so not a big deal. All this cell phone talk, all I gotta say is, I'm glad I went with the S4 and didn't wait, because Apple let me down big times by not producing a 5-inch or a, a, a bigger screen, a wider screen on the iPhone. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to feel like I was holding a damn chocolate bar in my hand. I wanted to feel like I was actually holding a phone. And this Samsung Galaxy S4, I feel like I'm holding a phone when I got this thing to my ear. So that makes me happy. But hey man, everybody has their own flavor. Some people like Apple more than Android. Some people like Android more than Apple. More power to you. That's all I got to say about that. So yep a dep And what the frig is going on over at Jules' house? They got a friggin' moving van outside. She getting a new bed? Oh no, that's not her house. Ah. Anyway, I'm going to park this shit and then we're going to go see what, what the what is. So let's pitter patter and have at her. And why is that fucking stick in my way? All right. Seal up the car and let's go see what Jules is up to. Alrighty guys, I'm at Jules house. Like I told you, before work, I'm gonna come over here, hang out for a bit. She's not feeling well. So we're just hanging out, smoking cigarettes. I'm enjoying my sick vacation day, I guess you can call it. Yeah. No kids. It's nice. So in one month, people, I'm off for a week. Yay! And I did take that 18th and 19th off. That's what I told them yesterday, I think. I think I told, I told you guys that, maybe, probably. I don't oh, know. Maybe. 
I can't remember. This thing doesn't work that well. I'm actually surprised they gave it to me. Yeah. Three weekends off in a row. I'm going to like it. Yup. <laughs> and yeah, so we're just chilling out and chatting and things, and I got to head off to work soon. Burn. Sierra's the most barking up with Yeah, Sierra's just being a bad puppy. Yeah. She's being a bad dog. She's barking at everybody. She hates people. <laughs> I gotta quit. Yeah. I gotta quit rocking because last time I was rocking and filming, the tubers told me I was giving them seasickness. <laughs> so it's like up and down and up and down oh, and up and. I like it when you rock me. I know. My feet aren't even touching the ground. And I, I can't help it because I sit on these things and I just want to rock and roll <laughs> all night and party every other day. You know? Yeah. Let's make them all sick. Oh, by the way, people, WTF compilation number two will be out shortly. Can't wait. It's going to be out shortly. I'm already sitting at a minute 51 on the video. Oh, God, that made me so, laugh so hard, the last one. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. Those are the ones that you have to watch over and over again just so you can see your pants laughing. Yeah. So that's coming out very, very shortly. Skittle a douche. Alrighty, people. Well, we're all done over at Julie's. We're all done over at Jules' house there, so we're gonna head off to work. It's like friggin' 20 to 4, so plenty of time to scoot over there, get off to work, and get this shift over with. We're short staffed again, and it's going to be a brutal night. So, as long as, you know, like I'm hoping that last night was like the night of the living dirt. Hopefully, tonight's not as bad. Because really, I, I can't deal with another day of the day of the living dumb. Like when you got when you get asked to describe what a letter looks like, because the individual on the other end is illiterate, and they want the internet, you have to really question things in general. Because last time I checked, you need to be able to read to use the internet, and I'm hoping tonight's not like that. I'm hoping tonight's better. Night. And tomorrow, I should be getting a call from. Uh, the teacher's office there about that computer see what they want to do they want to repair it they want to replace it if they've already bought a replacement so we'll see what happens there honestly I think replacing it's the best deal because even repairing it you know replacing the blown capacitors on the motherboard because there was a couple capacitors that were mushrooming and stuff for my time for doing that it would be cheap for them just to buy a new rig so and like I said they don't need anything expensive they just need a rig just any old computer will do. So that's where I sit now. I'm waiting on them to find out what they want to do so I can figure out what we're going to do and go from there. Also, I'm thinking about, uh, I got my old Acer M1100. I'm thinking about reformatting that with Windows 7, putting that downstairs as a multimedia theater PC or a home theater PC, whatever you want to call it. Hook it up to my TV in the living room. Yeah, I can use Xbox for watching Netflix and stuff like that, but I'd rather have a PC so I can actually use like YouTube and stuff. Sure, there are YouTube apps for Xbox and, and Nintendo Wii and all that, but oh, the new app they built for it, it's just a, a pain in the arse to navigate. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I'd rather the PC way. So, ah, it's just me, I guess. But, uh, I'm not sure what time it is. I might take a little trot over to the corner store there and pick up some energy drinks. Before I actually log into work today because uh, I really need uh, a little zing zang to freaking get me going. A little was a was a bling bling to freaking get the old engine started, you know? So that's the battle plan. So I'm gonna park this pig and just take a little trot over to the store and pick up some freaking energy drinks and then we'll come back to work and uh, get this shift over with. Holy shit, bud, you gonna take that turn or do you need, do you need a push? Do, do you need a push? No, you're good? Okay. For freak's sakes. Oh, it's a customer to boot. Nice rims on a minivan. These rims are worth more than the fucking van. Alrighty, let's uh, go to the corner store and get some om noms and uh, some drink and things and I'll talk to you guys when I get the frig out of here at midnight. Until then, peace the frig out. Not sure why he remote started his car. It's not exactly winter, but whatevs. Alrighty, people, well, it's friggin' midnight. Let's get the hell out of here. This shift was brought to you by the letter S for sucked, but uh, it's the way she goes. I'm gonna go meet up with Rex 4x4 at the Hortons and drink some coffee. So let's do this. Holy shit, my window's all steamed up. It's like some hobos had a soup kitchen in here or something. All right, people, I'm home. I'm gonna let the dog out, because he's gotta go pee pee really bad as he headbutts the camera. So, got some lights. 
and let him out to do his badness. So I'm gonna go for coffee, the Rex 4x4. Judging by what I saw, he's already there. He's driving or riding or whatever, the new motor motorcycle, not his, but uh, it's um, a loner for that trip he's doing. It's a Honda something now, we'll take a look at it. See what the frig's going on. But before I go, I gotta rock a piss. All right, we're back in the car. Let's head over to the Hortons and see what the what is. Let's do this. Okay, guys. Behind me is the bike that I was talking about in yesterday's video. What is this, Rex? A Honda CRF 250? CRF 250 L. Oh, oh, yeah, 250. He's a 2013. Oh. Did you know the sticker's already torn? <laughs> it, it's an L. <laughs> it's an L? It's on the other side. Maybe it's on the other side, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Honda. Ah, oh, see. Yeah, there you go. 250 L. It's friggin' sweet, but I guarantee you a fat guy like me would crush the shit out of this thing and kill it. You know, it definitely wouldn't like me riding it. So be sure to uh, check out Rex 4x4's channel. Link will be in the description. And uh, no, the light's not on. That's just the light off my camera making this reflector just give her. See, it's not on. This is uh, it's just a loner from Honda Canada. So there you go, it's just a loner. He has it for a couple weeks. They're doing a huge ass tour. And um, this is what he's gonna be touring on. Four day trail ride. There you go, four day trail ride. And uh, the park to park, you said, right? Yep. Park to park trails. So he's going to kick the levin shit out of this poor thing. <laughs> A little bit. Frig. Too bad it, it's too small for me because that's. It's, that thing there is incredibly smooth. Yeah. Unreal how smooth it is. I think if I were to take this on the highway, I'd probably split the engine in half. Oh, God, yeah. It's not good. Yeah. But, uh, you wouldn't want to go long, long distance with it. She's pretty nice. She's pretty nice. Holy shit, she sits about. That's not too bad. No. Wow, she's really light compared to that uh, V Strom. Yeah. Very light. It's going to be easy to throw around the trails, that's for sure. Oh, and it tells you when your engine's, engine's dipped. <laughs> Has a service engine soon light on it. Yep. Fuel injected, right? Yep. Alrighty, well, Rex is heading out on his hog. He's gonna friggin' head her home. And I'm doing the same. So let's friggin' pit her patter and have at her. And we are home. Alrighty, we're finally home. I need to rock a piss. So yeah, I was chatting with Rex and we're thinking that this Saturday we might go out romping, but I got a couple stipulations that I gotta deal with first. Like I said, the water dicks are coming over on Saturday to uh, actually underneath this carpet is a trap door to the sub-basement. And Oreo's a goof. And um, somewhere over here-ish, there is my water turnoff valve in the basement. So hopefully they don't send a real fat dude who's claustrophobic because he's gonna have to go down there into the lake the lair and um, friggin uh, deal with that pipe and install the water meter which means I might have to move my desk I never thought of this this desk is totally sitting on the carpet yeah yeah I never thought of that but um, he's gonna have to go under there and install the water meter and all that shit but there's something else that might cock over the plans too because uh, I got a text from Bruce from head office tonight asking me if anybody's off this Saturday and Sunday and we already got a guy off on Saturday, so if he goes ahead and floats off Saturday, then I'm going to get frigged out and I'm going to have to work Saturday from noon to 8. Which means I can't reschedule water, Dick. Um, that can't happen. He, he's coming here regardless. It's set in stone. I've had that booked for forever now. Like since friggin' July, I booked it for September 14th. So he's coming. So here's hoping that Bruce doesn't go and book that off because if he does, I'm gonna have a hell of a time because I'm gonna have to work it and once again get frigged over. So and if you don't get those water meters installed, well then they charge you double of what you normally pay for water. So right now I pay 68 bucks a month. I end up paying like $136 a month. So I really don't want that. I want that water meter in and buddy out. And depending on when Buddy Van Dudo shows up to do that, that'll give us a little bit of time afterwards to go romping maybe. Who knows? Because I really want to test out the steering on that romper and see if she's going to hold up or if she's going to fail or what the frig, you know? That's what I want to do. So, I'm going to have to wait and see what happens uh, on Saturday and what happens throughout the week, what transpires. And here's hoping I don't get an email from my boss saying, oh, well, he has to mail me tomorrow. So if he doesn't email me tomorrow, there's no way he can change it because... He would give me Friday off and then I'd have to work Saturday. And 
I don't think he's allowed. I think he has to give me 48 hours notice. I don't even think he can do that right now. Yeah, he has to give me 48 hours notice. So I don't have any worries. He can't do that. So Bruce from head office, if you're uh, watching this, uh, you can't book it because you waited too long and it's already Thursday. So he's, uh, yeah, so that's the way she goes. But uh, anyway, so once Buddy Van Dudo's done with that water meter, if uh, we have time, we might take the tractors out for a quick little rip snot and up the trails again, see if we can get a little farther this time without breaking shit. And this time, let me tell you, we're going prepared. I got a little toolbox in the garage there. I'm going to freaking bungee strap it down to the hood of the of the Dynamark. And uh, freaking dog. He comes over here, grabs food, and goes over there and eats it on the carpet. That's what he's doing. That's what you're hearing. But uh, I'm going to bring tools with this. Like some, some straps and like something like a hammer or vice grips or something that we can use to get shit did because last time that was brutal and who knows what could break this time around but rex and i are dying to get back out there on the trails and try and get further because we didn't even hit anything cool yet like there's stuff back there and trails that go for miles and miles and miles and we never even made it anywhere this time around so we'd really like to make it somewhere and really make a kick-ass video out of it so next time hopefully we get a little further but as for tonight people i'm shutting her down here i'm expecting a call tomorrow from uh oh, that's why i've been getting a lot of a lot of messages on my phone about facebook i left it open on my computer for freak's sakes son of a bitch but uh anyway people i'm shutting her down here calling her quits i'm gonna edit this up and fire it up to youtubes so if you like today's video hit that like button questions comments concerns down below they go and until next time people keep on vlogging